Hey, it's Jesus from Low Code Agency, and today I wanted to go over how to write that has your own profile and resources. And users can create resources, uh, normal details, and then they end up here, right? And then other users can rate and review this uh, resources, and we end up here with a list of ratings and reviews. So let's say that this user Marco has a bunch of resources, right? So we want to show the average rating for Marco. So let's say that Marco sells courses and each of this is a course and we want to show not only the rating, I mean each product has its own rating, but we want to show that rating, the average rating of all the courses of Marco in Marco's profile. So let's, that's why we are going to use Rollout Column. So we have simple setup, our profiles tab and our resources tab and rating reviews tab. So in our ratings reviews, it's pretty simple because users rate and then we have a numeric value in this case four and the review grade. So we have a relation from our resources to the ratings reviews somewhere over here. So rating relation, right? So it matches multiple, looks for the row ID. Uh, and then we have our role already here. So, and of course, with our profiles tab, we also have a relation pointing to our resources. So in this case, we can see that this user has this X amount of uh, resources. So let's get to that. Since we already have the resource relation here, we can do a lookup and bring over the ratings for that. So let's add a new column here and it will be a lookup of ratings. It will be a lookup column and then I'll point it to the resource relation and bring over the um, ratings. Where do we have the ratings? Here we go. Okay. So in this case, this user has this six uh, resources and has been rated three times or his courses have been rated three times. So we have these values here and then I, I'm going to add a rollup column, average rating, right? So I choose this rollup column and then the configuration is the resource relation we are bringing over the ratings and then here we can choose, right? So we want average. Uh, we like we could do several things. Actually, let's do count. So how many reviews this user has for his products? And then let's do another rollup, rollup two for the average. So resource relation. We are bringing our ratings from our resources tab and then let's do the average, right? So now we have an average here. Probably we can convert this to a math column. Let's see if this works. Uh, up to, there we go. Okay, so I uh, am math column. So why am I doing this? As you can see, the, the we have too many decimal points here in the rollup column. So I added a math column that points to the, so I am replacing roll for rollup2, and then the precision is a couple decimal points. So this works better. Uh, and then we can do a couple of template columns. So let's do X amount of ratings. And we are replacing the X for our this value, right? Actually, let's do this X ratings. And then we will add another template column. Template two. This will be a template column, and we will use the new math column average ratings x and we are replacing the x here 
okay so now we have this so another thing that I don't want is I don't want to show average ratings nil or empty right so let's do an if then that column to show that uh, like a good piece of text so if then else um, ratings so we will have this if Rollup average equals zero, then user has been rated. Else, we will show our template column. And let's edit this average. So let's do ratings y and then average ratings average rating and then we can add the y here and this will be the correct excellent So let's go back to our users and then let's add that text. So let's add a new, let's do the hint, hint. and then ratings, and the text will point it to this new column that we created over here. And let's move it up all the way to the top, right? So. In this case, we can see that this user has three ratings and his average rating is 4.33. And then we can see the items or the products that he has been rated for. So that's how we use the rollup column. It also helps, if I go back to my rollup column, you can see that I can also do count, count unique, to a sum, to a minimum and a maximum or a range. Uh, so I'll find out of any other examples that where we can use the min max and show them here. So hope you liked it. Follow up. Follow us for more. Talk soon.